the latest scene of multiple civilian fatalities in Europe's latest war. It was noon and busy here when the shell landed just feet from the hospital's front door. Both the Ukrainians and the pro-Russian rebels accuse each other of firing indiscriminately. And they're both right. They're unleashing rockets and artillery shells to and from civilian areas with shocking frequency. The watching world will of course be appalled by this strike on a hospital, but in truth it comes as no great surprise. Eastern Ukraine's descent into something resembling total war has been precipitous and unstoppable. Nowhere is that fact more visible than at Donetsk airport where the separatists took us today. They seized the main terminal last month, but their grip isn't as secure as they'd like. Our hosts are proud they have taken the airport, but at what a price. Winning was everything. Such is the level of destruction, there are no spoils left to be had. It may lie in ruins, but such is its significance, the Ukrainian army is still trying to take it back. The airport was built especially for the 2012 football Euros. It symbolized Ukraine's rise and its European credentials. That's why both sides regard it as such a prize. The last time we were here was actually as passengers back in April. There were flights to all over the place in Western Europe. There were flights to Germany. There was actually one to Gatwick as well. It's quite terrible what hatred has done in such a short time to such a symbol of ambition and progression. The Ukrainian soldiers who defended the airport were nicknamed the cyborgs because of their almost robotic resilience. This is one of their tanks amid the rubble. They held out for months before the superior firepower of the rebels broke their resistance. We were told that while some Ukrainian bodies have been recovered, many more are still under the rubble. Here lie the bodies of a dozen Ukrainian soldiers. There hasn't been a long enough lull in the fighting here yet for an exchange of the dead. It's not just soldiers who are being mourned. This is the funeral of Dmitry Limonov, who died here on Sunday. Dmitry and his wife Nastia had a baby three weeks ago. She remains in the hospital where she became both a mother and a widow. A shell killed Dmitry as he walked home to collect baby milk. As the mourners wept, the cause of death echoed around the city. More grief and destruction being dispensed. Late this afternoon, when one of our teams came across this smouldering car, they saw the dead driver still at the wheel. Yet another wrong time, wrong place civilian killed by a random shell. The war here is worsening by day and by night. John Irvine, ITV News, Donetsk, Eastern Ukraine.